Hi everybody, I'm going to read you a little story now and it is called Who Ate the Cake? It says, things keep disappearing, everyone's blaming poor Bob. But did Bob really eat? Mum's knitting, Dad's daffodils, Gran's tea set, Freddie's big birthday cake, or is there a secret pesky animal on the loose? Let's find out. Who ate the cake? Bob was Freddy's dog. He was always getting into trouble, mostly for eating things that he shouldn't. Bad Bob, no biscuit. Freddy was Bob's boy. Freddy was often in trouble because he liked collecting things. Oh, not more things, Freddy, said Mum. There's Bob Lowe eating things he shouldn't. Eating some socks. Wouldn't taste very nice. And there's Freddy, look, with all this stuff he's collecting. Every week, Freddy counted up his pocket money and bought lots of new things from his Collector's Weekly catalogue. So far, he had collected 15 toy cars, 11 comics, 12 robots, 7 cacti, nine trains, 16 dinosaur bones, five ships in bottles, three aliens, six snow globes, 10 shark teeth, eight cuckoo clocks, four pink ponies, but he sent them back, and a handful of creepy crawlies. Look at all this stuff. You got all sorts. Remember he sent the pink ponies back, seen like those ones. I think I'd have liked them, so I'd have probably kept those. Bob loved Freddy's collection. It gave him plenty of interesting things to chew on, especially the dinosaur bones. Mum and Dad were less happy. Freddy, they said, there must be no more things. But that very afternoon, another huge box arrived. Freddy had ordered so many things from his collector's weekly catalogue that he'd earned a free mystery gift. Bob sniffed the box suspiciously. It smelled sort of fishy. I wonder what it could be. We'd better not tell Mum and Dad about this, said Freddy. And he lifted the lid and out popped. These are the pictures. What's going to pop out? I need to know, I need to know. <gasps> no, surely not. Surely not. I've gone to the wrong page. Out popped a pelican. Have you ever had a pelican as a mystery gift? A free gift? I haven't. Oh, but Freddy was thrilled. Bob didn't like the pelican. It was big and it was flappy. And its beak was wide enough to gulp down a computer, which is exactly what it did when Freddy wasn't looking. No, barked Bob. Pesky pelican. There he is, look, munching on the computer. Straight down his beak. Shh, said Freddy. Mum and Dad mustn't find out about him. And that was just the start of the chaos. Mum's missing. Mum's missing. Mum's knitting went missing. Rrr, growled Bob. Pesky pelican. Then it was Dad's daffodils. Huh? gasped Bob. Pesky pelican. Then it was Gran's best tea set. Plus some very posh pastries from Paris. Help, said Bob. Pesky pelican. Oh, and then it was all, all Bob's favourite chew toys. No, cried Bob. Pesky pelican. Sorry, I didn't, didn't show you the pictures, did I? Look at this pelican. He's causing an absolute ruckus, eating everything. But did the pesky pelican get the blame? Of course not. No one knew about him. They all blamed Bob instead. My knitting, cried Mum. Bad Bob, no biscuit. My daffodils, said Dad. Bad Bob, no biscuit. My tea set, squeaked Gran. Bad Bob, no biscuit. My chewy toys, howled Bob. Sad Bob, more biscuits. 
Nobody understood him. Bob decided that that pesky pelican was nothing but big, bad, beaky trouble. He's not very happy, is old Bob. But the next day was Freddy's birthday. Bob was determined to be on his best Bob behaviour. That way, he might get a piece of Freddy's birthday cake. Oh, I love birthday cake. Oh, and look at this birthday cake. Look how yummy that looks. Bet you'd all like a piece of the birthday cake too, because I definitely would. I'd probably eat the whole thing. The cake had been baking all morning and it smelled scrumptious. Bob tiptoed into the kitchen to have a good sniff before tea time. But he was too late. Oh no. Oh no. Something's happened to the cake. Can you guess what it's, what's happened? I guess I'm gonna have to show you. With one big beaky gulp, the pelican ate the whole cake, everything, all of it. The only thing left of the cake was a teeny tiny cherry. No, howled Bob, pesky pelican. Oh, I bet Bob's going to get the blame again, isn't he? Oh, he chased the pesky pelican all around the kitchen, but the pelican was too fast and too flappy for him. Pans clattered, plates smashed, spoons scattered, food splashed, and everyone came running to see what the commotion was. My kitchen, shrieked Mom. My cake, said Freddy. Bad Bob, shouted everyone. Look at all the mess. There was custard on the windows, plates on the floor, jam on the ceiling, and a pelican on the fridge. Good gracious, said Mum. There's a pelican on the fridge. I don't think I've ever gone in my kitchen and seen a pelican on the fridge. I told you so, barked Bob. Whoops, said Freddy. It took a long time. Nearly forgot, didn't I, to show you the page. There they are, look, discovering the pelican on the fridge. It took a long time to unpack the pelican's beak. Inside, they found one entire big birthday cake, minus one teeny tiny cherry, Grand's tea set, Dad's daffodils, something that had once been Mum's knitting, but was all chewed up and squidgy and slimy. All of Bob's chew toys, and some very, very soggy pastries from Paris. I don't think I'd want to eat these now. Look, look at them. They're all soggy and disgusting. I don't think I'd want to eat those after they've been in the pelican's beak. And they also found a whole lot of other things they didn't even know was missing. <clears throat> oh, poor Bob, cried everyone. All of those days of no biscuit, and he's not been a bad Bob at all. Bob needs a treat said Dad. What would you like for tea, Bob? Now, if you were Bob and you could pick anything for tea, what would you pick? I think I would pick... Well, I know what I would pick. Fish and chips. Oh, my favourite. But Bob would like... Sausages! And for once, everyone understood him perfectly. Bob ate a lot of sausages, while Mum and Dad stuffed that pesky pelican's beak full of juicy fish. And Gran and Freddy baked another cake. There they are all having a bit of a stuffing their face session. And Gran and Freddy baking the cake. After all the fuss, it had turned into Freddy's best birthday ever. Especially when there was a knock at the door. What could be at the door? Or who could be at the door? It's not a who, it's a what. It's another mystery gift. And what has he got as his next mystery gift? He's got an elephant. Now, where would you put an elephant if you got one for your birthday? Because I have no idea why I'd put one in my house. 
Maybe in the garden, but you might get wet. Or he or she might get wet if it starts raining. I hope you've enjoyed Who Ate the Cake. Um, I hope you join me for another story again soon. I hope you all have a lovely day and lovely weekend. See you soon. Bye.